The Congressional Office helps to tell the story of five veterans and counting. Congressional Greg Kilo Congressman Greg Kilolisa Blonde's office is working to get the troops to teacher group involved in the project, too. And record them, and they share with us documents or photographs, and we package them, and we send them to the Library of Congress, and so it's there for posterity. It's open, it's public information. And so it's shared for posterity. It's, um, you know, the Library, United States Congress, the Library of Congress, they, they, these things are never, you know, even library, even Congress, the, the journal of, of the first Congress are still there. Congressman Sablon tells us they place the recordings on a CD and scan any of the documents or photos the veterans share. Then they send the stories to the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. So far, they have completed stories of three veterans living on Saipan, one living on Tinian, and a veteran living on Rhoda. We're trying to get veterans to come out and agree to do it. And so we've had some few we've got interest. We're building it up. And it's an ongoing program. Sablon says they are also trying to interview Saipan Mayor David Apatang about his military experiences for the project. In the Library of Congress, there are more than 100,000 veteran stories, and there's no limit to that number. The project currently spans World War II all the way through the Iraq War. The collection of stories nationwide began 15 years ago and was signed into law by President Bill Clinton at the time, according to the project's website. For information on how to get involved, email killily at mail.house.gov.